Grantham has asked, what was your first thought you had when you ran onto the pitch at Twickenham on Saturday? Um, just just the experience of the atmosphere, really. Um, I went, I once went there as a sport as well, and uh, just to have it first hand as a player was, was amazing as well. So just wanted to sort of take it in throughout the warm-up, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. David Denyer has asked, did you play mini rugby or was score your first taste of the game? And have you ever been clocked for the 100 metres? Um, so I think school, school bar rugby was definitely my first um, test rugby uh, when I was uh, 14 um, and then went into play in, in the county stuff um, and then once I you know, went through to England 16s uh, through that whole system and then I got a scholarship at Woodgift but uh, never really played minis rugby um, away because most of my games were at school on a Saturday anyway so I was playing most Saturdays. Um, and 100 know, metres? No, I've never. Actually, I have. I think I did 11-3. Um, I wonder when you did that. 14, maybe. 15. I'm not too sure. But you'd be a bit quicker now. But you don't often run 100 metres, do you? No, game? no, no. I think you sort of, you sort of stick to the 40 metres dashes and stuff, yeah. Uh, Lucas Funk asks, what's your favourite comic? I don't, really, I don't know. Maybe uh, Batman. Uh, that's that's pretty sweet. Um, I'm a massive fan of uh, Bane, so yeah, just his whole character and, and uh, personality is definitely one that catches my eye. Seanos Carlos asks, says, that bursting run nearly got you a try on Saturday. Did you ever think of a sidestep before the two-man tackle, or do you have to just go for the line? Um, I think it was, it, was a, it was a weird one, really. Um, once I was going down the line, um, the 13 was, was just slightly behind me, and uh, Ashley Cooper was kind of, you know, diagonally across me as well. So I think, you know, stepping in, I'd have probably gone into the 13, but if I'd carried on, then I was going to get tackled by Ashley Cooper anyway. So it was kind of like a weird one, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, put in a, in a different scenario, a different time, I'd probably try something different. But, you know, at the time, I, I thought you know, I could have got across. But uh, yeah, you know, it was, a, it was a tough one, really. But uh, yeah, awesome tackle as well. Ed Lamb asks, who's the best winger in the world in world rugby at the moment, in your opinion? One of my personal favourites is Joe Kokoko. But I think, you know, every time I see him play, uh, Sivir Vata is just, you know, just a fantastic player. Just his style of playing, his reading of the game as well, and all his silky skills there. He's, he's definitely, to me, Probably the best thing in the world, I think. Jamie Russell asks, if you could set up any business, what would it be? And who in the England squad would you set it up with? I'm not too sure, really. Maybe maybe even music. Um, I know Wadey's, uh, Christian Wade is very into his music as well, so probably something down the line with, with that with him. Finally, Andy Carr asks, I'm in, I'm in the process of renovating my bathroom and wondering whether to go with a roller blind or traditional vertical. I got nowhere with Ann, Owen Farrell last week. Do you have any thoughts? I really don't know. Um, got any roller blinds or vertical blinds in your house? I got vertical blinds, yeah. Um, yeah, vertical, yeah, they're, they're good, they're good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really one for that sort of thing. I think uh, if I was, when I'm, when I'm moving into my flat, I sort of got my mum to do all most of the stuff. So yeah, she's very good at that sort of interior design. But uh, I wouldn't trust myself to be fair. <laughs>